So, how do you get cheap camera equipment if you're going to the Philippines? Well, the first thing I'll say is you won't get it in the Philippines if you're from the UK. Um, the prices in the Philippines are on par with the UK pretty much on electronics. Uh, the key to it is actually Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong um, has some pretty good prices, but also you can go on the UK forums for cameras and they'll actually they'll guide you in the direction of which companies already trade pretty well with the UK anyway. The advantage in, in person is you can only negotiate things down because um, Chinese by culture want to do a deal. Having money in your pocket, they want it. Um, so in, in person you've got that little bit of flexibility. May not get your price down, but you might get some extras with it for free. Uh, the other way to do it is getting some American friends. UK prices of lenses, for example, are about 30 to 40% more than the US market. So if you've got somebody you can trust in the US, send them some money, get them to buy it and bring it for you. Uh, because no, it's going to bother them. It's generally on the way back in people bother uh, you about your customs fees. So if you're taking it back to the UK, I wouldn't advise you to mail yourself the box if you want to keep the box um, and put the, cam the camera lenses with your camera um, to avoid custom charges because that would be um, unadvisable, wouldn't it? Um, but if, you're, if they're in their box, I would say they're very likely to give you a customs charge. But that's the cheapest way of getting camera lenses and camera equipment is the US and Hong Kong. Um, Hong Kong. It's only, I can't remember how long the flight is. It's quite a short flight, it's only a couple of hours, I think. Um, you can get the, Opt, I think they call it OptiPlus, which is the the, the uh, pass for the day, which I think is about $10. And that lets you go on all the buses and the trains in Hong Kong. Uh, it's a very good system. Uh, but pre-map where you're going, because Hong Kong is quite a busy place, and if you get it wrong, you, you'll end up wandering around in the wrong district and, and not getting anywhere, especially if you're only doing it for a few hours. Because uh, I'm notorious for that, where if I'm in an area I can get to somewhere quite quickly, I will go there and get back to the airport. Um, but mainly if I can do it on foot, so I don't have to rely on somebody, um, rely on transport or anything just in case something does go wrong. Last thing you want to be doing is missing the flight. But it can be an easy way for somebody to make some extra money for themselves to justify the cost of uh, flying to the Philippines. Because if you've got lenses in the Philippines um, that's cost a thousand pounds, you're already looking at 300 pounds below the market value. So if you have several lenses for the same camera, your flight could be free. Um, if you sold them back in the UK. Not that I'm advising anybody to do that, but I'm just saying that um, it's, it's possible. Um, but as a, the famous saying in the Philippines, up to you. Um, it's basically, I'm not, I'm not saying anything, but it's up to you, you decide. But that, that's how I would um, get my camera equipment. Thanks for watching.